A lot of people make assumptions about you if you're vegan. They, if, especially if you're somebody like me who's talked about other vegans, who's interviewed other vegans or plant based or, you know, made videos about it or whatever. So, like, I, I interviewed Durian Rider. So, everybody assumes that I'm dumping sugar into everything and eating unlimited calories, which isn't true. I eat until I'm full, right? Or a lot of people think because I interviewed or made videos about McDougal. I, I agree with everything he's saying, which just isn't true. I don't agree with his stances on fruit. I don't agree with his stances on like the global warming thing. I don't think that's real. So there's a lot of things that are said or people ask me comments in, in the comment section or in the DMs and they assume just because I'm a vegan, it, I, I agree with these things and it just isn't true. It just is not true at all. Like I did not get into this vegan thing because I was an animal activist I, I at all. I, I used to cut fish for a living. Like I used to go fishing and then cut the fish on the boat. Like I did, like it happened. So I am not one of these people who was, this light is just <sighs> too much. I am not one of these people who does all this stuff. Like, like when, when I, I, I was, um, when I did the, the MS 150, which is a 150 mile ride for raising money for muscular, uh, dystrophy, which I don't actually believe in at all. It was just a bike ride. I, like, I got invited. I, I raised the money. I think that you can get rid of a lot of stuff with diet. I did it. Everybody was like, oh, he must be a hardcore leftist. I don't know about that one. So there's a lot of things or like, and even worse actually is like how angry the carnivore people and the keto are in the comment section. My goodness. Or like if I make a comment on Instagram, oh, those people are so mad. Now, do I think that we should have animals on assembly lines cutting their heads off, bleeding them out, cutting them into pieces, and shipping them off? No, not really. I think that the way animals were processed back in the day, if you want to call them that, was a lot better. Like, that they would just be part of your farm, and you gave them a good life, and then, then you cut their heads off and bled them out, and then you ate them, or whatever, or they died. And if it wasn't of something terrible, then you would eat them or whatever. I'm not going to get mad at a homeless person who has no food and all they have to eat is like some fried chicken that somebody gives them. I'm not going to like, oh, you you idiot, you should be vegan. I mean, how stupid is I'm not going to go over to my parents' house and say, yeah, I know you guys raised me and I know you guys helped me out a lot and you guys helped me in every manner, shape and form. But you guys are idiots because you don't eat. You know, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to, it's not going to happen. Now I do, I have sent the McDougal interview that I did, the Peter Rogers interview that I did to my parents because they got some of the things that happen when you eat too much of that stuff, right? They got too much of that, but, or, it's, you know, not too much of that, but they, they do eat that way. Like my mom, like, I don't know what she eats. She's like a bird. It's like pecking at little things. So I'm like, why do you do this? Why? But then at the same time, my mother is 72 and looks 50. My dad is like 69 in a couple months here and looks like he's like in his late 40s or early 50s. Like, so it's really hard for me to say that, but like, not that they look like that, but like to, to like their son is coming in here and telling it, you know, whatever. So I'm not, it's, it's not that thing. I'm also not one of these vegans that's out there and thinking that you should have your nuts cut and just slamming it into every single chick that you can find and all that kind of stuff. Like I've been told by uh, various um, uh, vegans in the DM section or in, uh, after interviews that you should just go, you know, go go crazy it's not me it's not my thing right i really believe that you should just be with one person get married raise a family if that's what your thing is and and do that or just be with that one person i do not believe in this vasectomy shit at all i don't think that the earth is like needing our help if the the earth doesn't care folks right if the earth didn't like us it would just eject us
It would just get rid of us. Just huge uh, tsunami, earthquake, something like that. We'd all be gone. Gone. I don't believe that the universe is like our savior. God created the universe. So God, why, go to the source. Why go to the middleman? If the middleman even exists, I don't even know about this universe thing, right? I don't really, you know, I, I like my, this year has really awakened me to a lot of stuff. And I'm also not one of these vegans who thinks, and I know I, I've said in other videos that you should, should, should quit your nine to five and do what you actually like. I didn't say to sit around and hope money comes into your bank account. Go do something else. In the Bible, it says a man who doesn't work should not eat. That is my belief. If you are unwilling to work, I don't give a fuck. I am not giving you money. If you are unwilling to work, I had my foot. I couldn't even walk. I could not even, I was not even allowed to walk. I was still running my eBay. It's literally the only reason we had a roof over our head during 2020, during that whole thing, right? I am not one of these vegans. <laughs> I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just gets like the comments and the DMs. Oh, it drives me crazy. I'm not one of you. I'm sorry. I make videos. A lot of people assume that's how I, who I am in my videos. I make videos. You see me for 10, 20, 30 minutes a day. It is not me. It is a part of me. I am vegan because I was, I went overboard on eating meat and dairy and eggs and all that. And I was killing myself. I did not. I'm like, oh, these poor cows. Not me. Sorry. I'm not going to go throwing blood or fake blood uh, on people who are in the meat section. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm not that. I'm just not that. I'm not part of this emasculated group of men who claim to be men. You know, I, in the vegan community and they're, they're eating their broccoli juice and they can't get anything done and they got these women taking care of it. Like what? No, dude, that's just not how it works, man. We need more men out there who are willing to have a word. Like even even if you look into like the the God thing or Jesus and and like people being saved and it's all women. It's all women. Where are the men? Like where are you guys? Are you in your mommy's basement at 35? What are you doing? Like what are you doing with your life? Thinking that the welfare and uh, or, or whatever else is happening, or just tr I gotta travel, I gotta find myself. Where the hell you gonna? You think you're gonna find yourself in Thailand, but you couldn't find yourself in your mother's basement? Are you kidding me? Like who who are these people? Where did this develop? I mean, I know the twelve step program that we have here in America is part of the reason for all of this. I saw it in people years ago. It, I can't even, it is nuts. So because I'm vegan, yes, I'm vegan. I'm vegan. I eat only, and that's another thing. Well, he's so fat, he must be eating animal products. Okay. All right, that must be it. You solved it. It's just like, wow, crazy stuff to me. Like crazy. I, where is all of this coming from? Like, I, like this is another byproduct of people sitting around in their mother's basement. They sit on the internet all day and judge other people instead of going and get a job and actually doing something with yourself. And I'm not really judging. I'm trying not to. I actually feel, felt called to make this video. Like, I don't even feel like I'm actually talking. I feel like this is just being said. I'm like the person who's saying it. The earth does not care, people. Now, I, I really think that it is good to get rid of these assembly lines of murder. I really do. I don't think that that is the way we were supposed to do things. I don't think that at all. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. The way we used to do things make made a whole lot of sense to me, right? The way things are now, this assembly line of everything... It has taken humanity out of humanity. The boxes that we work in, the, the the lines, everything's a straight line. If you look at McDonald's now, they used to be so fun, man. Now they're just, they look like, a, 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 like an institution. Like with these, I mean, who, I, and another thing, like you see these people with these houses and they're so bright and everything and 
Like, why? Why, why do we need this? Why do we need to be all in the same room with somebody? Like, why can't we have time alone? Like what, what this open concept? Like how, like how long does something have to be a concept before it's reality? So you know, like I couldn't even watch these HGTV things anymore because everything's open concept. Okay, I have no personality. I gotta watch. I gotta monitor my kids twenty four hours a day. Why? In the eighties, and most of us make a whole lot more money than the people younger than us. In the eighties, we were kicked out of our house. We were told, don't come back till it's dark out. If you want to find water or something to sustain yourself, there's a hose on the back of the house. Good luck. Hopefully you make it. <laughs> like, there's your bike. Here's $5 if you want to go to the pool or go to the lake. Hopefully you don't drown. See you later, probably. Like that was our life. That was how we grew up. That was, it was, that was agreeable to me, right? We were outside. I used to lose like 15 to 20 pounds during the, the summer, because I was active, I was out there swimming and riding my bike and having fun, right? Like, everybody's staring, everybody's staring at their phone now. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, I go on my, my like, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll walk in the neighborhood here, and every time I pass this, this, this uh, couple's house, one of them out there smoking a cigarette, or now they got vapes. And um, they're staring at uh, like an iPad, like how you, you can't five minutes, you can't even do five minutes without staring at a screen. People get mad at me too, because like, I'll go in the store, I'll go into somebody's, like when I go over my parents, I don't bring my phone with me most of the time. He was like, I can't believe you didn't get back to me. Now, when I, there is somebody that I want to get back to, then I'll bring my phone. There are certain people that I think you should give time to. There is. Like, I really legit, if somebody, if somebody really means a lot to you, you should give time to them. I really think that. But <laughs> the energy is too far spread. Like, too far spread for all of this. It's, it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me to think that there is that you're going to save the planet by like doing a vasectomy, but then pounding as many women as you want to and like think that that's all right. These are the most oppressed people I've ever seen in my life. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their eyes. It's crazy. Or like, or like the, the women who like, I, most of them don't come to contact me anymore. Thank God. But the women who are a part of that whole thing, like, what are you looking for? Like, what, why, why is this a thing? Like, I know, I know if you really look at this, there's a lot of people who uh, come from divorced families and broken families. And they think that they're going to bring that into the next generation or whatever. I understand that. I really do. I, I, I see that. Like when I was growing up, I don't know that any of my friends got, uh, parents got divorced. I can't think of anybody. I, I come from a different generation, I guess. It's just not, a, it was not really a thing back then. Like, if it happened, it was so rare. I actually can't think of anybody that I grew up with. I understand that part. This is not a huge judgmental thing, but like, it's crazy to watch like all of this happen. And some of the comments, especially when I make carnivore videos and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's crazy. And now I know I'm asking for it, right? I know I'm asking for it, but this video exists for a reason. I've seen a lot of people also reviewing my videos lately and just bashing and it's just like whatever you know i've done it i'm not mad at it how can i be mad at it? i did it too like how can i be mad at that so but it's just wow wow this i'm not, just because you are something and this is why i didn't want to even come on here and make uh, vegan videos because i like i had a feeling that this would happen but and it has and i i really I, I, I probably should have said this at the beginning. I really appreciate everybody that comes on here. I really appreciate the comments. I really do. I really like all of that. I like the community that built. I like all of that. I really do. So hopefully people are actually seeing this part of the video. Um, <laughs> but just because I do that does not mean I'm a part of the full tribe. I'm not getting like the vasectomy life. I'm not going out there you know, claiming that we're destroying the planet by having kids and stuff like that. So I know way more happy people 
who have families than happy people who are avoiding families and traveling so much. They, the, the people who have families, they might look a little tired, but they are happy most of the time. The people who are out there traveling with their little vasectomy life look miserable. They look lost. They're lost puppies. I think there needs to be more male leadership in the world. I, I just, I'm really sick of what I'm saying. This year has changed me quite a bit. This whole channel has changed me quite a bit. Sometimes for the better, sometimes not. Most of it for the better. I just think a lot of things. But I think that... I don't even know how to phrase it. I think there's a lot of women stepping up in certain areas, but I don't see the men doing it. It really pisses me off because it, it should, in my mind, be the opposite. And that this is just not, not just the vegan community. But when your whole existence is based on a lot of this stuff, you're going to be lost. <laughs> you're just going to be lost. And until you find who you really are, you're going to be lost and you're not finding it somewhere else. Like you're not, you're not going to get in a plane, fly somewhere else and find it. Now, that being said, I can, I don't like cold weather at all. Like I can't like maybe one more winter and I'm done. I can't do it anymore. And that's just not because I'm trying to find myself. It's because I can't stand cold weather. I have no idea why humanity moved to an area that's cold. I don't understand it. And I just gotta, I gotta be done with it. And I, I don't like doing it either. A part of the reason I haven't done it is because my I know my parents are not going to move. And they're not getting younger. So there's part of that. But here's another thing. You just can't, you can't live like that. You just can't live like that. You cannot live on somebody else's opinion. I really can't. If I, if I did, I'd still be going to the post office and breaking my ankle every day just to please everybody else around me. Meanwhile, I've had a, a roof over my head, whether somebody else lives here or not, for five years now, without a you know traditional job. So you gotta believe in yourself and you've really gotta rise up to the challenge and stop trying to search for who you are somewhere else because it's just it doesn't exist you cannot find it in something else it's it's what you, you are it you're it there is no key no way to happiness happiness is the way there is no you can't find something it's like it's like last example and i'm gonna let you guys go it's like you you lost your keys right you're you, you're running late you're running late for something and and you run out of the house you run to your car and you're like oh i don't have my keys on me I don't have my keys on me. And you start searching outside the house and in, in your car for the keys. But meanwhile, you knew that you didn't have your keys on you because you, you couldn't even lock the door. So the keys are in the house, right? But you're looking outside of your house to find the keys, but they're in the house. Think of that. You are looking for something outside of you and, you know, reading the Bible and all that kind of stuff for something, for, for you know, looking outside for something that can't be found outside of you. Like, you don't really even have to, like, I got a Bible right here. That's why I'm, you just have to, like, that voice in your head, when it is giving you power and all that, that is something good. When it is giving you fear and anxiety, it's not. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. This video has taken... A, I don't even know what this video is. I'm probably not going to edit this video hardly at all. Because I don't actually feel like I was in charge of this video. But I'm going to leave the comment section open on this video. Because it should be colorful. Um, I guess I'm entertained by that. Stop searching for who you are and what you want outside of yourself. Now... That's not to say that you can't find a partner. That's not to say that you don't like having a cat. That's not to say any of that stuff at all. I'm just going to leave it at that. Anyway, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.